The taps ran dry in Mabvuku more than eight years ago. When cholera struck Zimbabwe in 2008 and claimed more than 4,000 lives, this suburb east of Harare was one of the area's hardest hit. The disease, which can kill in hours, is carried in filthy water. Years of underinvestment had crippled the Harare water network. Many people have now sunk boreholes. We have to wake up as early as 3 a.m. to get water because there will be queues there already. But the boreholes too are risky. Over there is a communal toilet. It is just three meters away from the well. It is the only water source in this area. It is the same water that we use for our brick making business. It is the same water that people use for laundry and which people use in their homes for drinking and cooking. So there are frequent types of typhoid in Harare, frequent cases of children succumbing to diarrhea, and frequent warnings of another cholera outbreak. City fathers say they are doing the best they can given their limited resources. Donors too are chipping in. Earlier this month, a multi-donor infrastructure development fund donated $19 million for rehabilitation of water and sanitation equipment in the worst affected towns and cities. Harare is also upgrading its waterworks so that it can supply 80% of households. But these projects are set for completion in 2016 at the earliest, so there's no immediate reprieve for residents here. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimba.